Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous uh, few video tutorial, we learned how to implement uh, a Spring AOP before and after devices using XML configurations. So in this project, we will we had learned how to implement before and after devices. So I was supposed to give the project name as a spring AOP before and after advice. So let me rename it this one before and after advice using XML. Now these two advices I'm going to implement using annotations. So same project I'm going to copy and I would paste into the same workspace. I would give the name project name as a spring EOP before and after devices using annotation. Annotations. Click on the OK button. Now we have created another copy of the same project. So let me close this previous project. So here in if you go to the XML file here, I mean EOP models we have configured here. So these things I'm going to comment after some time I will remove it as well. Now these things we have to configure in XML itself. Now these annotations or these bean also I'm going to comment over here so because I want to make completely annotation based. Now here is our service class. So in this service class this service service class I'm going to annotate as a at the rate service method at, at the rate service annotation. So this is the one of the stereotype annotation. Now here object name I want to be created as account service. So this name I'm going to provide over here account service. Now we have a one more bin class here. This class I want to define register as a expect module. So as a at the rate expect you need to annotate this class as a at the rate expect and one more annotations I'm going to use at the rate component so that a spring will instantiate this class. Now this class I want to define as a before advice using annotations so at the rate before annotations i am going to use sorry before and this annotations asking me to supply some value and here we can specify the point cut expression so in xml file we had already defined point cut expressions if you did not watch my previous tutorial then I recommend you to go and watch this video tutorial so that you will learn how to write the point cut expression. Now here I have specified point cut expression. Now so this method I have annotated as a at the rate before so this uh, uh, method will work as a before advice. Now we have another annotations to define after advice. So we have a at the rate after. Again, this advice is asking me to supply point cut expressions. So almost same point cut expressions I'm going to supply over here. Okay. Now in this XML file, I'm going to use some tag like EOP colon is a AOP colon auto proxy. This will basically enable the a spring AOP module in your application. Now now we have almost conf configured all the just stuff so remove these things. Now uh, this expect class I have annotated as at the rate expect and at the rate component. Now we need to use context colon component scan. 
and this tag I'm going to write twice because I need to register two packages for uh, auto scanning. So here we have used at the it service. So this package we have to register for auto scanning in XML file like this. And here also we have used at the it component. So this is one of the stereotype connotation. So again, this package we have to register for the auto scan. So I have registered it. That's it. Now we have con converted this project into annotation based project. Now if I run this uh, client program, so we have here we have a client program. From client program we are making call to the service layer method and when I will call this method then I want two advices before and after advisor should get called right so before executing this service class method this advice will get called and this SOP will be printed and after that this body of this method is getting executed and finally after advice should get called right and this message should be printed on the console so let's go ahead and run this application so right click run as a java application and we are getting output successfully as per our expectation so this way we have converted i mean before and after devices uh, xml to annotation based now one thing i would like to discuss over here here this class basically does not implement any interface right so right click over here and go to the refactor extract interface here i would like to give the interface name as account service right and so there is only one method so select this method and click on the ok button right so we have created interface in the same package you may keep this interface in another package as well. Now if I run the same application after doing this modification, then let's see what happens. Is, is this running successfully or not? So now we are getting an exception. And if you look into the exception, then this exception is related to something like proxy. So basically when you work with the Spring AOP, then Spring AOP works uh, as for the proxy object. So basically, look at here, here is your service class and when you invoke this method of service class then, I mean method of another class is getting invoked automatically, right? So basically, Spring OOP creates a proxy object for this class and send to this aspect module. And here you get the information about the this class, right? Which is stored in the join points, right? So proxy is one of the famous design pattern in java so basically that is uh, i mean proxy design pattern basically creates a proxy or dummy object of any target object and that sends through this this aspect model so how to overcome this problem this exception so go to the xml file and basically here XM, I mean, Spring AOP uses cglib to uh, create a proxy object. And default scenario, Spring actually creates a proxy object using using JDK reflection. But uh, when your API, your service class implements some interface, then you need to enforce cglib to create a proxy object and how to enforce the cglib by specifying this tag proxy target class by default proxy target class is false so here you need to make it true and that's it and now if i run this run the same application then we are successfully able to run so just keep in mind so when your target class i mean service class implements some interface then to create a proxy object of this service class you need to specify proxy target class equals to true along with AOP aspect auto proxy so that's all I wanted to 
covered in this video tutorial in next series of video tutorial we are going to learn how to implement after returning and after throwing advice using xml and after that we will convert same project into the annotation base so see you in next video tutorial guys and thanks for watching this this video tutorial